Hello, welcome. In this short video, we will derive the mathematical relation between the density of a Gaussian distribution and the mean of a Gaussian distribution. The relationship is written mathematically as integral minus infinity plus infinity x multiplied by Gaussian distribution multiplied by the normal distribution x given the parameters mu and sigma square dx equals first parameter mu. So the goal is to prove the integral of this function is mu. Let's call this equation 1. Before we prove this, I want to state that we are going to use the following identity which is discussed in the previous video. The identity is i equals to minus infinity to plus infinity exponential of minus t square by 2 sigma square dt equals square root of 2 pi sigma square. So we are going to use this relation to improving equation 1. Let's start with the LHS of the equation 1 which is integral minus infinity to plus infinity x multiplied by 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma square multiplied by exponential minus x minus mu whole square by 2 sigma square dx which now we use the change of variable so let's rename x minus mu as t and this implies that dx equals dt and x equals t plus mu now inserting these values in this integral we get minus infinity to plus infinity not that x and t have a linear relationship so the limits and also the coefficient is positive the limits do not change that is limits of t are same as the limits of x so hence the integral becomes 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma square t plus mu exponential minus t square by 2 sigma square dt now if you notice uh, this integral has basically two terms the first one is integral of t times this exponential function and the second one is mu times the exponential function so uh, now writing these two terms separately we get mu times integral minus infinity to plus infinity 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma square multiplied by exponential of minus t square by 2 sigma square dt plus 1 by 2 pi sigma square or 1 by 2 multiplied by integral minus infinity plus infinity t times exponential of minus t square by 2 sigma square dt so if you notice the integral in the first term is basically the identity i divided by square root of 2 pi sigma square so we have square root of 2 pi sigma square over square root of 2 pi sigma square and the second term the second term is basically an integral over an odd function if you notice for t less than 0 the function is exactly same as the function for t greater than 0 but with a opposite sign hence the integral is 0 therefore the integral on the left hand side of equation 1 is mu hence the mean of a Gaussian distribution is given by the parameter mu thanks for watching